Hey, welcome to this video. You arrived here. You're probably searching for a view of Folksy. I'll go over how it works. I'll give you my two cents, whether I think it's a good use of your time. And if you like my free training on the number one simplest, fastest way to earn a full-time income from home, you can click the link below. You'll see my email opt-in page. Enter your best email. I can send you my free training if you want. Folksy, let's dive in. So what it is, basically, it's an online marketplace that will allow you to sell handmade, handcrafted uh, art and household items. And as well as you can purchase these items as a buyer, if you want. Um, a lot of people sell and buy, so they're buyers and sellers at the same time. Um, and all sorts of, you can sell all sorts of items. So, I mean, I won't go through all these, but, you know, accessories, uh, clothing, um, you know, bed, handbags, home decorations, furniture, garden, uh, pets, um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, uh, Folksy is based in Sheffield and it was founded in 2008. You can read all about them on their about page. Um, and uh, now as a buyer, you can be from anywhere in the world, but sellers, you must be in the UK. That's very important. Um, a lot of people have compared Folksy to Etsy and I don't know if Folksy likes that comparison, but it is, you know, I think it's a fair comparison. Um, it's definitely a smaller platform. They say, you know, 13,000 or so designers on here and, you know, a bazillion buyers, you know, I have no way to verify that. I mean, to, to me, when I was reading through the reviews on Trustpilot, it seemed like there was about an equal balance of buyers and sellers. If anything, there's more people who, who are sellers, but, but I don't know if this is a representative example, um, sample, um, but I would just go through the Trustpilot reviews um, if you want to get some of the pros and cons. And and you could also find reviews on uh, this website, talk dot, well, talk.folksy.com. This is their forum. But um, if you read the reviews, there's oh, it's overwhelmingly positive. Um, now, there are pros and cons. The pros are um, people like the low fees compared to Etsy. Um, and some of the other platforms compared to Etsy and the others. Um, it's easy to get set up and navigate on here. That's another thing people like about it. The customer support is very friendly and helpful and the, and it has a community feel that you don't really find on a lot of other platforms. Um, you can communicate with other sellers on you know their forum or their Facebook group. And it's just a, you know, a friendly bunch. Now, the cons are some people um, would like additional features like the ability to live chat with customers or bulk edit, um, you know, tags or, you know, you know, um, or have more store customization. So it's quite a, it's quite a simple platform. Um, not a lot of bells and whistles, but you know, that could be a pro because it, less of a learning curve. Right. So, um, but the big con or critique people have with folksy is it, they don't do that much to promote. Um, they don't spend much on advertising. So it's your responsibility as a seller to figure out how to get lots of traffic to your listings. Traffic meaning eyeballs, visitors. Um, but it's kind of like that on any marketplace. I mean, if you want to make regular sales, you have to be focused on, you know, promoting yourself. Now, the sign up process, if you're interested in it, it's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to go through, bore you with those details. It takes a few minutes, but... Um, you know, once you're signed in, this is what your listing kind of would look like. So this person has created um, animal ornaments. And this is one of their listings and you can go to their store and um, and you'd have a banner up top, your, or your name. You could have a photo of yourself if you want, your items you're selling and, uh, and then an about, about your store links to your social media accounts and some reviews. So it is quite basic, but not a lot of distractions. So it can kind of keep your buyers focused. I mean, it looks nice, you know, um, but basic. So let's talk about the costs involved with selling. So there's two memberships. There's a basic uh, membership and a plus membership. With the basic, it's 18 pence per item. Um, not per listing. So if you have one listing, say a piece of jewelry, but you've made 10 of them, um, that would count as 10 items. So it'll cost you one pound and 80, um, pence. The, the first three listings are free. However, 
and um, and uh, I think they mean items. So yeah, but the first three are free, and it's six percent plus VAT. So what that means is basically seven point two percent. They'll take a seven point two percent fee on your total sales, um, and then you also have to factor in uh, PayPal. Will take a small fee as well. Uh, they'll take a, like one or two percent. Um, they're always changing their fees. So, um, so there are costs involved and then you get their, their course, which will teach you how to sell online. And with the plus membership monthly is seven pounds and 50 pence a month, or you can buy annually and then you'll save a bit of money there, uh, 75 pounds annually. And you get additional perks, um, the unlimited free listing. So you're not paying that 18 pence per item. And then the, uh, and then the fee is the same, the sales fee and the PayPal fee. Um, and you get additional perks as well. You get, um, um, like, uh, 10 photos instead of five. So five extra, that's what they mean there. You get to import, uh, your Etsy store. So if you have an Etsy store, you can just upload it to here, right? Might as well. And that's kind of it in a nutshell. So. All in all, this is a perfectly good platform to sell on. It's um, just understand selling handmade items and making a full-time living or a real living at this is very difficult. And very few people can pull it off um, because you aren't earning that much per sale. You know, a lot of these items, you'll see people selling them. Um, well, you have to factor in the cost. So you might be making 10 or $20 or pounds, pardon me, per sale. And that's not that much money. That means you're going to have to make hundreds of sales per month in order to earn a full-time income, which is basically 5,000 pounds per month or more. Um, that's, an, that's an incredibly difficult thing to do. I don't think I could do a hundreds of sales a month. Very few marketers could, which is why for most sellers, it's just going to be a hobby. It'll never be a full-time income or even a decent side income for most people. That's just the reality. But as long as you're okay with that, um, you can go ahead, you can check out um, folksy, but look, maybe you're here, um, not necessarily, um, to make, just to make handmade items. Maybe you actually want to earn a full-time income or a very nice side income from the comfort of your own home. If that's what you're looking for, what I suggest is click the link below. You'll see my email opt-in page, enter your best email. I can send you my free training if you want. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this review of folksy. Hope to see you on the other side and I hope you have a great day. Bye.